what a lovely way to start a morning with some good old AMG crackles, the signature AMG crackle. Uh, usually when I hear that sound, I'm with my buddy Ulrich in his C63 AMG, and it's a 6.2 liter V8. But this time around, it's a two liter inline four making 375 horsepower. Yeah, I can repeat that for you guys. 375 horsepower out of a two liter engine. All right. I don't know how AMG does it, but they have, uh, this car has a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission, which is very welcome. This particular example is pretty much brand new. It's got uh, about 10,000 kilometers on it. It does have AMG's all wheel drive system, uh, front wheel drive bias, and then depending on circumstances, depending on your drive mode, it will uh, basically send up to 50% of the torque to the rear wheels. So that is very much welcome. It, yeah, very fast. <laughs> uh, let's put it this way, it's a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Uh, even, you know, looking at the 375 horsepower figure, expecting a fast car, this car weighs lighter than I thought it would too. I thought, you know, a moderately proportioned sedan, uh, it's pretty big. Not big for today's standards, but coming from someone who normally drives like 90s cars, either way, it weighs about uh, 3,400 pounds. Just not bad, not bad at all. That's like a 300 ZX. So turbo four cylinders traditionally do sound a little bit more angry than NA four cylinders. There's definitely no exception here. It's got a dual clutch transmission. The shifts are very quick, very awesome. We've got it in uh, Sport Plus mode at the moment, uh, manual mode, so obviously shifting with the paddles as well. The suspension is in Sport, uh, steering is in Sport. So basically you can adjust everything independently, which I think pretty much every car should be. We just about killed that bird back there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's got really adjustable uh, settings and everything that you can adjust on this screen up here which for the record, I'm not a fan of. The, uh, the interface itself, great. AMG, great job. But uh, I just don't like the whole stick and iPad on the dash kind of thing. I've never liked it. I don't think I'll ever come around to it. It's just something that I don't think I can get used to. It's not, it doesn't look very nice. It doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. Uh, just wish it was better integrated. That's just me though. I think that really all just comes down to personal preference. I think it works great though. Um, that is, 16 kilometers an hour, very fast. <laughs> All right. If you didn't already know, this is the exact same platform. It's basically the exact same car as the GLA 45 AMG. So that's the hatch with the crazy wing on the back, crazy hot hatch. This looks a little bit more civilized. Great red stitching all over the interior. I mean, you get in here, there's carbon everywhere. That's a lie, there's not carbon everywhere. There's a massive, one just one big slab of carbon on the dash here uh, that looks pretty insane. You've got the red accents around uh, the fence here. It has a very strange curve to it. I wasn't a big fan at first. I've come around to it. I really like the side profile. The front's awesome. Um, I, I still don't know how I feel about the rear end. I, I still don't know. But um, that being said, I think overall it's a really good car, a really great looking car, especially with the aero pack on the front. It's got some splitters up front. It has almost 400 horsepower. And uh, this interior is extremely comfortable. We've got adjustable bolsters on the seats, everything, adjustable lumbar. Uh, you've got cruise control, obviously. Why did I just say cruise control? Obviously the car is cruise control. It does not have cooled seats, uh, which is really funny because I drove a Mustang GT350 and that had cooled seats. You know what? The transmission is responsive. I'll give it that. It's not the quickest. I, it's. It's just not. Uh, honestly, I really think the Audi S5, the dual clutch that was in the Audi S5 that we drove a while ago was slightly quicker uh, to respond than this transmission. Like here, downshift. I mean, that was, that was pretty much spot on, but upshift, 
wow, that was really delayed. I don't know why that was super delayed, but it seems a little inconsistent. I'm not going to lie. Um, sometimes you'll get super crisp uh, upshifts. Yeah, like that was really quick. Uh, maybe just depending on, you know, throttle position and whatnot, but we are in Sport Plus. We're in full Sport Plus. Uh, however, what we're going to do right now, we are going to shove it into race mode. <laughs> really big crackles. Oh my God, we had the windows open earlier and it basically sounds like thunder down there. Crazy. Woo. And on the over rev, you get some nice crackles. Sometimes it's bassy, sometimes it's, you know, higher pitched uh, crackles, but wow, that is loud. Nice and warm now, so. Puts the power down really nicely out of the corner. Wow, yeah, this car's fast legitimately fast like it's not just quick it's uh this is a fast car and that dual clutch definitely helps with that as well without a doubt oh that is just awesome <laughs> and i mean honestly unless we were on like a track or something i really don't think that the uh the all-wheel drive system would be a hindrance to the car's handling capabilities on the street. Uh, you know, just exiting corners, it's really awesome. You know, in a front-wheel drive car, you can basically just punch it and pull yourself out of a corner immediately, right? So this is, you get the benefit of that uh, without having to worry about consistent understeer or anything like that. But at the same time, it's not rear-wheel drive, so you don't have to worry about crazy oversteer at all. It just kind of just, just rockets out of a corner and then you still get the efficiency of in a straight line uh, right now, I would imagine it's just setting all the power to the front. So best fuel economy. <laughs> wow, the exhaust. I actually can't get over that this four banger two liter sounds just as crazy in terms of the pops and the feedback you get from the exhaust on the shift as the C63 AMG, like the 6.2 liter V8. Obviously this is not a V8, don't get me wrong. This 6.2 sounds 10 times better than this engine. But for a four cylinder, a turbo four cylinder, they have, I mean, I can't even imagine how much money and you know research and development has gone into uh, just the exhaust system alone uh, in a car like this. Wow, that, that was crazy loud, oh my God. This thing, oh man, I could drive this all day. All right. Understeer, that's understeer. So it has layered leather on the seats actually. It's got a layer of black and then red and then perforated black on top, right? So if you look closely at the holes down here, uh, you can see a little bit of red. It's like, really, what is the point of that? Uh, but at the same time, if you're buying an AMG, every year you're kind of, you've come to expect, I guess, more features, more little things here and there. We definitely got some understeer back there. It, the turn in on this is not nearly as good as the Datsun 510 I drove yesterday, and that car is like 50 years old at this point. <laughs> all right. So a little bit, actually, that was like not confidence inspiring at all, that last corner there. It dodges around a little bit. It definitely does uh, under hard, hard inputs, but great car. So you guys might be wondering, you know, you're, you're really strange, Marcus, for, you know, going from driving a 69 Datsun 510 to a Supra and then a CLA 45 AMG and just weird stuff like that. Um, but, you know, in all honesty, the reason why I love this show so much, the reason why I love what I do, uh, first and foremost is the driving. You know, a big part of the driving is just to be able to, you know, to really just to escape, to just get all this sensory input and just be in the moment, driving down the road, feel like you're you're building up a skill of some kind and just having fun, enjoying the environment. So to be able to just get into a car like this and just rip up the back roads and not think about anything. All right, that's fun. <laughs> oh my God. 
Anyways, you guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, be sure to uh, comment and subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, let me know what you think of this car down in the comments below, maybe what cars you want to see in the future. Uh, maybe we can get some more AMGs and stuff on the channel. But all in all, I just really hope you guys enjoy what we're putting out, and we love your feedback. We always love feedback. So hit us up in the comments, and uh, we will see you guys next time.